Mini metal. I still need to look up what the rewards are. But I get here at night. I wonder if that's planned. So, these guys are dead. How much of these bookshelves can I read? Oh, I can read all of them? Puns. The fire of my youth. It seems to have been written by Abbot Francisco. Ever since I was a young lad, nothing has excited me so much as the creation of puns. Oh, me too. I created a training regimen by challenging myself to come up with five new gags and ten new puns every day. This book is the fruit of my efforts. It represents, it represents my comedic blood, sweat, and tears. Tagori flicked through the pages of Abbot Francisco's bad jokes. <laughs> Chucklin quietly placed the book back on the shelf. Man, I love puns! Okay, well... I feel like I sh could learn a recipe here. But I don't know. I probably should have checked out what the rosary does. What is with the slow zoom? What is with the uh, creepy floating jester? <laughs> We finally see him. Just for a moment, but we saw his face. Ooh. Mm. Uh. What sinister presence lingers in the air? And who are you? Did you want to speak with me? There they are! It's them! You'll be damned for trying to take Abbot Francisco's life! What on earth? What's going on? Abbot Francisco, Captain Marcello, at your service as well. Ah, Marcello. Tell me, what's happening? There has been a breach of security. Many of the guards have been seriously wounded. What? I feared you might be in danger, so I came immediately. And sure enough, we caught these criminals. They've been loitering around the Abbey since midday. It seems we were just in time. I thank the goddess that you're st Wait, these people are no criminals. Please, Holy Father, they were caught red-handed. Look into their eyes, see their pure hearts. These people are guilty of nothing. But... Very good. But we must find out what they were doing here in your residence so late at night. At the very least, let us ascertain that. Please. <laughs> you really are a warrior, Marcello. Very well, if you must. Thank you, Holy Father. Let me translate. I really just want to torture these people. Shall we go? That sneer. Now look here! We ain't done nothing wrong! Yeah! We told you, it was your man who asked us to check up on the abbot. What right have you to keep us here? The abbot is too forgiving. If you're innocent, then who attacked my men? I, on the other hand, am not so forgiving. You won't fool me, so don't try. You're confessing it. Who is it? You sent for me, Captain. Come in. I have a question to ask you, but there's something else first. We've just arrested these intruders in the abbot's residence. They were attempting to take his life. They wounded six of my men. That is some whistle. 
Very well. The problem is this. My guard is watertight. I make sure of that. There's no way for an outsider to get inside the Abbey. Unless, of course, they have inside help. And would you believe it? When we searched their possessions, we found this ring. Templar Angelo, where is your ring? Show it to me now, if you have it. Phew, it's turned up. Thank the goddess. What? Someone stole it from me at the pub. And it looks like they're about to learn that crime doesn't pay. Stole it? What? You little fibber! We've no use for a ring like that. He set us up. I should have known better than to believe a single word from the mouth of a filthy cheat like you. I have nothing further to say. You can find me in my chambers. Wait! We're not done here. Fine. I'll deal with him later. First things first. You've wasted enough of my time. Don't try my patience. I want answers. What did you plan to do to the abbot? Uh, how many times have we got to tell you, eh? We ain't got nothing to confess! What is it now? We found a suspicious monster loitering outside the abbey. What? What kind of monster? Oh, Trode. Ouch! Ugh. What the... Yo! Youngest Jessica! What are you all doing in here? You were gone for such a long time, I was getting rather worried. So I just decided to come and look for you when this... <laughs> So, this monster is a friend of yours, then? So much for your pure hearts. What's wrong with you? Unhand me at once, you insolent ruffian! Get him off me! You are in league with the monster. You may have deceived Abbot Francisco, but you don't fool me. It was the monster who ordered you to steal the ring and infiltrate the Abbey, was it? You cursed heathens. Thought you could scare people by killing the abbot, did you? Make them question their faith? And then move in and take control, I suppose. Take these monstrosities to the cells. Come dawn tomorrow, I will have you tortured. Perhaps then you will realize the gravity of the sins you have committed. <laughs> Until sunrise then. Sleep well. They have an Iron Maiden back there. That's impressive. All right, so we are in a cell. What what do we got? We got four walls. We got a tarp. <laughs> There's no point screaming. We've got to use our heads to get out of this cell. Can't you think of anything? I'm no monster. I am a king. Blast every one of those Templar twerps. I'm thinking there might be... Oh. Someone's coming. Good evening, everyone. Glad to see you're all looking so well. Ah, come here, you! Now, now. Control your temper. I must apologize for before. Perhaps. What are you up to? The guard upstairs might hear if we talk now. I'll explain later. Come on. Follow me. The guard's up ahead. Right, no one make a sound. I 
I seasoned his supper with a generous pinch of sleeping powder. Perfect, it worked. Sleeping like a baby. Okay, through here. This is the torture chamber though, isn't it? Or am I wrong? Are you going right. to torture us? It's safe in here. You can talk again now. Good. Tell us what's going on. What ordeal do you intend to put us through next, hmm? Like I said, I'm sorry about before. If I hadn't lied about the ring, Marcello would have been onto me like a shot. And I haven't got anywhere else to go if I'm chucked out of here. But I came to get you out, didn't I? <sighs> Come on, don't be angry. Anyway, let me show you something you won't have seen before. Well, what is it? There. And that's real blood on those spikes, you know. If I were to throw you in there and shut the door, your whole body would be skewered. I could make you holier than thou without so much as getting my hands dirty. Not bad, eh? Like I said, not bad, eh? So, do we all just go through? What do you mean? If we hang around for too long, they'll catch me helping you escape. Let's move. Uh, climb inside? Sure. <laughs> That's the spirit. What's your game, eh? First you grass on us for something we ain't done. And then you come and help us. Sorry if I've confused you. The people here have a bit of a trust issue with me. I couldn't stick up for you before. It would have backfired. The man who interrogated you, Marcello, he hates me. That's why I had to let him put you in the cells before I could help you. That's all well and good. But you still don't know us from Adam. Ain't you worried about us being friends with this old monster, eh? You're just happy to let us go, are ya? True, I don't know anything about you. And I wasn't there when you were caught. But I do know you saved the abbot's life. Because just before you were brought to the interrogation room, the sinister feeling that's been lingering in the air went away. I must thank you for that. I'm not so ruthless that I'd hang you out to dry. And besides, I couldn't stand by while there was a lady in trouble. Marcello's a rather talented inquisitor, you know. This leads outside. Lonely without me. There, there. It's all right. We'll leave this horrible place at once. The princess and I will go on ahead. Make sure you're not too far behind. Princess? Whatever. Come on, let's go. You'd have to work pretty hard to mess up your escape from here. Anyway, I'm sorry for all the trouble. So, this is farewell. May the goddess watch over you on your journey. Okay. So, is that foreshadowing? Am I going to royally mess up? The bridge. Is the whole abbey on fire? Surely that jester didn't come back again. Oh no. I've got to save the abbot. Are, are we swimming? What are we doing? <laughs> yeah. 
I do like how it's one group. There we go! Jess's appeal is kicking in. Like I said, it's like a 1 in 32. The, uh, the passive ability on that will definitely slow it down, uh, slow down the damage that we take ever so slightly, but it will still slow it down nonetheless. Actually, no, I think this might be the best time to use Power Throw. Splitter, and you can attack the mages. Not bad. We took out, what was it, four out of the five? That's really good. Hundred and Sorry about that cut. Let's get right back into it. Sounds like everything's in danger. Can I just go in? No one seems to care right now. I mean, there was a pretty big crowd outside. <laughs> ah. Slip right through the flames. Everything's fine. I probably should have checked if I could save out front. Damn! Where's my cello? Huh? That sinister presence again. No, not sinister. It's worse than that. It's pure evil. As if all the demons of hell had gathered to feast upon Abbot Francisco. You brave, stupid lad. It's locked from the Marcello. Are you in there? Damn. What's going on? It's no good! It won't budge. You lot, did you follow me here? Doesn't matter. I mean, it looks I like you followed help. us. Just one we were in time, front. Right? We're going to have to do this by brute force. There might just be enough of us. The door's locked from the inside. We've got to break it down. Come on, everyone together. Nice. Yes. All right, what do we got?
What happened? Come on, stay with it. Tell me what happened. Thank the goddess. You've come. Help the ab... Who on earth did this? He's dangerous. Captain Marcello is in trouble. Upstairs, come on, let's go. You're with me, right? Yep. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I said. The jester must save the abbot. Marcello! It was all... that jester. I... couldn't stop him. He's strong. <coughs> but you can't let him. This is an order. Templar Angelo, get the abbot to safety. <laughs> now, nothing stands in my way. Ugh. You dare lay a finger on Abbot Francisco. Don't worry, Marcello. I will be fine. I have given myself to the goddess. If it is her wish, I am prepared to die. But, wretched sinner, if that is not her wish, nothing you can do will ever harm me. The goddess will protect us all from whatever evil you can muster. Well, well, what faith you have. Let's put it to the test, shall we? Wait, 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 wait! God blimey! It's been a while, Duel Magus. Ah, if it isn't King Toad, looking as small and ugly as ever. Shut up! Return my daughter and I to normal at once! Do you realize what you've done to my castle? Uh, what? Such a pity. It seems fate and your benevolent goddess are both on my side. <laughs> yes, such a pity. Poor Francisco. is such sweet sorrow. <laughs> well, it seems we failed.
The following day, under a heavy cloud of rain, Abbot Francisco's body was committed to the ground. Meanwhile, Dolmagus slipped away into the darkness once again. Marcello, who somehow managed to escape injury, explained to everyone the events of the previous night. Tagori and the party were cleared of any suspicion. Everyone at the funeral felt a terrible sorrow at the loss of the abbot. And the heavens, too, wept tears of grief. The rain continued until dawn, the start of a new day. Ah, you're awake. I realize I said it before the funeral, but I just wanted to assure you that everyone knows you're innocent. If it weren't for you, Captain Marcello could well have been killed too. We're all in your debt. Anyway, the Templar Captain has summoned you to his office. See you later then. Don't forget. Can I make these two up? Good morning, Gov. Looks like old Magus gave us the slip again, eh? And all them people dead. I can't believe it. I couldn't sleep at all last night. Ah, curses. Cursed old Magus. So where is that guy's office? Probably here. Captain's been waiting for you. Hurry up. Hello. Ah, there you are. I trust you slept well. King Trode has explained everything. I apologize for having doubted you. Dual Magus is the true culprit. In the name of the Goddess, we must strike down that diabolical jester. But I cannot leave here now. As the new abbot, I have much to do. I must be here to guide my people. So, I was wondering, according to what King Trode tells me, you are all pursuing Dulmagus. So I have a proposal. I would like my brother Angelo to accompany you on your quest. Brother? I thought you said you wouldn't have a rule breaker as a brother. Quiet! I wasn't talking to you. Angela, you are the only one we can spare at the moment. Everyone else here has duties to fulfill. Only you are without such responsibilities. I'm useless, you mean? No need to beat about the bush. Fine, I understand. You've made yourself perfectly clear. I will leave the Abbey. I will travel with these people. And I will avenge the Abbot's murder. <laughs> I'll be waiting by the carriage with Medea then.
This is a map of the world. If you're going to catch Dulmagus, I'm sure you'll find it indispensable. Consider it a peace offering for having doubted you and your friends. Please. Well, now when I press square, it'll actually do something instead of yell at me. <laughs> Very well, then. I entrust Angelo to your care and wish you well on your journey. All right, so does it say that he's in my party yet? It, it didn't. I guess he's downstairs? I guess he's out front. <laughs> Where is he? There he is, right at the door. Hello again. Well, it looks like we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. I hope you don't mind me coming along. I'm not doing this because Marcello ordered me to. I'm doing it for Abbot Francisco. He was like a father to me. That jester, Dulmagus. He can't get away with this. This place. I'll be glad to escape. It's no hardship being asked to join you, believe me. And anyway, I promised you, didn't I? I said I'd reward you for helping me. So, Jessica, from now on, I'll protect you. I won't leave your side. Consider me your personal bodyguard. Sure, Romeo, in your dreams. And there we go. We have a fourth party member. And the best thing about it is that all four of us can fight at once. We will not need to okay, rearrange our party or anything on. like that. Uh, there is an option for it. I don't understand why. I think technically the person at the head of the party is supposed to take more hits. Um, but I don't know. Yeah. I guess with that done, I'm going to end the episode here. So, I hope you've been enjoying this, and please join me again for another episode of Dragon Quest VIII.